Anxiety disorder has caused more harm than could ever be imagined over the years. Psychologists say it leads to depression with its attendant effects to the health and even death. In this next report, our health correspondent Ngozika Hechesi takes a look at this emotional dysfunction that has left some in a lifetime mental disability. The report. Anxiety is a body's natural response to stress. It's a feeling of fear and apprehension about what's to come. But if your feelings of anxiety are extreme, last longer than six months, then it's said to be an anxiety disorder. According to psychiatrists, anxiety disorders are the most common form of emotional disorder and can affect anyone at any age. Globally, researchers estimate about 4,802 total cases of anxiety disorder per 100,000 worldwide in 2020. And in Nigeria, there is a high rate of anxiety and depression. Approximately 25 to 30 percent of Nigerians suffer from one form of anxiety or depression during the COVID pandemic. This is according to a research work done by Maimuna Yusuf Kadiri, a psychiatrist and a psychotherapist. Dr. Selin Njoko is a counseling psychologist with over 25 years of experience. She's also a fellow with the Counseling Association of Nigeria. She states that there are causative agents that lead to anxiety apart from medical causes. It could be unemployment. It could be family you're coming from. If the family is not stabilized or you have a quarrel, you have a problem with your family, it can lead to depression. It can lead to anxiety. The family, the government, the environment, the peer group, the pressure. If you are not able to withstand the pressure coming up, oh, Ngozika, oh my God, this is your wig, I need to put it on. Must you put it on? You are not Ngozika. Ngozika is Ngozika. In Nigeria, there have been cases of young people going into ritual killings. Husbands killing their wives, wives killing their husbands, caregivers maltreating children, and students bullying their fellow students. It's believed that such a career act has to do with the mind. Selin has this to say. You cannot just wake up and start doing something like that. You must have been depressed. You must have been in a state of sadness. And what is depression? There is no accurate definition of depression. Depression is complicated. Depression has no one-way definition, but it goes with sadness, gloomy behavior, isolation, loneliness, withdrawal syndrome, anxiety. On the street, people share how they deal with anxiety. For me, meditation um, is one way that I try to deal with things. I, I don't talk about it like other people. Most people talk about it, but then I just listen to music most times and sometimes I cry. I cry a lot. I tend to reflect on um, happy moments, you know, and things that give me joy. But Dr. Selin gives the best way to deal and treat anxiety. You know, somebody who is anxious or who is suffering from anxiety, they hardly get out. They won't take their bath. They won't look well. Get up in the morning. Take your bath. Refresh yourself. Eat. Move. Go out. See people. Hello, hello. Man is a social being. By so doing, eating well, thinking well, go back to your creator. Doing all these things, admiring nature, you come back to your senses. On the line, you will see that you are better than many people. That thing you are killing yourself for. You will see that you are better than many people. The Lagos State Government came up with an initiative of responding to mental issues in the state through the Ministry of Health. The aim is to partner with the private sector to build a mental health center that is affordable and accessible for all. Ngazika Ohaichesi for Plus TV Africa. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.